What's going on, Grizz fans? It's the hot summer. The Grizzlies are back in action again. But Kelsey, before we talk about the Las Vegas MGM Summer League, let's go back and look at the takeaways from Salt Lake City. The Grizzlies go two and one, two impressive victories to book in their three games there. What did you like about what you saw from the Grizzlies in Salt Lake City before we get to Vegas? All right, I like how they came back after a loss. That's my first thing. Number two, though, is I loved to see how good Desmond Bain and Xavier Tillman played having that first year experience and not having a summer league before. They really showed out and I love to see, you know, Desmond played almost every game this year. He started 17 games. It was so nice to see him kind of move into that leadership role for a lot of the younger guys as well as the G League guys. I loved to see our hustle guys show out in that summer league. Um, obviously the team was without the, you know, Zaire Williams and Santi Aldama, but to have those G League guys, Shaq Buchanan, Ahmad Caver step up and really show how they've developed yeah. um, in their couple years in the hustle program. It was nice to see. It was nice to see Desmond Bain take over more leadership and more ball handling responsibilities. That's something that he's going to have to be able to do. He's going to have to be more of a two-way threat when it comes to being able to shoot and facilitate and make plays for other guys. That was what Coach Darko wanted to see from him. That's what the development system is all about. Xavier Tillman is just a grown man. He's a grown <laughs> man in the NBA. He's a grown man in the summer. He's going to be a grown man as they move forward to Vegas. Now, as we shift to Vegas, as you mentioned, we didn't get a chance to see the first round picks, Zaire Williams and Salty Aldama. What are you expecting from those guys this week? Grizzlies have four games in seven days starting Monday against the Nets. What do you hope to see? What, do you, what should be realistic expectations for Zaire? I love that that was your question, a realistic yeah. expectation. Yes. I don't think we should go in expecting Zaire to have 50 points a game, which we would love to see, but I don't think it's realistic <laughs> okay. to see. Uh, I want to see just how they are able to gel with this team. Now, this, this team, the roster that was just there, obviously we said just played three games in Salt Lake City, so they've become a little bit uh, you know, comfortable with each other. Yeah. Now we're inserting three more players. Um, as well, I'm including Sam Merrill in that. Yes. We're inserting three more players. It's going to be interesting to see how they're able to gel in and how I want to see Zaire and Desmond Bain, that kind of backcourt. It's a duo for the summer. Like I want to see how they're able to play off of each other as well. That is. I mean, this is a guy, Zaire, who's coming in. We've talked about it last week. He's been working out six hours a day during this draft process, eating 5,000 calories. That makes me so tired. I know. I mean, 5,000 calories to get his body to an NBA level. And now we get to unveil him and see how that athleticism will translate. I do think his athleticism will translate from the impact from the start of this uh, summer league. Santi is a guy that can stretch and shoot the ball, put the ball on the floor too. He's gonna be in that big rotation as well. And then don't forget about the guys that also broke out. E. Pons had a tremendous week in Salt Lake City. I wanna see if he can take that to Vegas too. One last thing, what are you looking forward to most in Vegas? And then we'll get out of here. Ooh, I am most looking forward to, hmm, you go first defending our summer league oh. championship, right? The Grizzlies last time they played in <laughs> Vegas, the pandemic stripped that away last year. Uh, but going back two years ago, Brandon Clark was summer league MVP. The Grizzlies won the Las Vegas summer league championship. I think they have the team to do it, especially if we play all of our young vets out there this week. Okay, that was a good one. You, you can't <laughs> top that one. I'm gonna stick with Desmond Bain. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with, I'm excited to see uh, in the Salt Lake City uh, summer league, he was the second leading scorer out of everyone. I'm excited to see him kind of continue and snowball forward. Um, with the role that he has with the Grizzlies and last year, he played a lot and yeah. I'm excited to see him kind of grow, continue to grow as a player. And like I said, or like you mentioned, yeah. as a ball handler, and now he's going to have another guard there who is who is a run and gun guy who's great in transition. I'm just excited to see how Desmond grows. You got to grow, you got to continue to develop, and you got to grind. The Grizzlies are doing all three as they continue summer league action. For Kelsey Wright Johnson, I'm Michael Wallace. Keep it locked on all of our Grizzly summer league coverage at GrindCityMedia on Grizzlies.com.